I know it's getting cold, winter is coming, but your chickens do not need heat in their chicken coop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about preparing your chickens for winter, mainly talking about not heating your chicken coop with a lamp. So be sure to watch the video to learn why you should not be heating the coop and how to actually heat it naturally without electric power. And if you absolutely have to, which ways are the safest. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos about animals and you can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, so I know what some of you are going to say. You're going to say, I live in Texas. I don't know anything about cold winters. And yeah, that's kind of true. But the problem with that argument is that you're basically saying that it's only recently that people in northern states or places like England, Canada, uh, European countries, Alaska, just anywhere that it's cold have only recently started keeping chickens. And that's just simply not true. So it's very possible to keep your chickens happy and healthy throughout winter without giving them a heat source. Now, of course, the most important thing is, did you pick the right chickens? Now, I've been saying this since back in the spring in some of my earlier chicken videos about how you need to pick, they're so loud, aren't they? You need to pick chickens that are for your climate. This is super important. So there are certain breeds of chickens that are for cold climates because of course these chicken breeds have been around for hundreds of years and this is for people who lived in places where it got a lot of snow and they did not even have heated houses so no their chicken coops were not heated and then of course there are different types of chicken breeds that are more acclimated to hot climates so if you want to find out how well your chickens are going to be able to handle winter you can look them up by breed also chickens that have a big comb like this uh, those chickens are going to be more susceptible to frostbite and things like that. Uh, chickens that have more body fat are going to handle cold weather better. Uh, so just little things like that. There's also like, for example, frizzles and um, silkies. Those types of chickens, um, they're a little bit you know, fancier and they don't really have the same thing going on for them that normal chickens do. And so um, they can be susceptible to freezing or just getting sick during winter without extra heat. But of course, when you do choose to go with more exotic types of animals, you're going to have to provide shelter for them. And I, I do see a lot of people online um, talking about how to heat their chicken coop, showing their chicken coop. Now, like I said again earlier in other videos, don't go and buy that super cheap chicken coop from Tractor Supply or Amazon or Walmart that's super flimsy. So I'm gonna put some pictures up of them. These types of chicken coops are not very good. They're not going to keep your chickens warm. So especially if you do live in somewhere where you get snow, don't get these types of chicken coops. Uh, this is not insulated, it's gonna be cold. So uh, yes, this, this doesn't work. Part of keeping your chickens happy and healthy during winter so that they don't get too cold is just making sure that they have a good place to sleep. So I have the over easy chicken coops. I have two of them. Uh, these are super insulated. You don't have to um, buy one of these. You can make them. They're just easier to buy because they're they come in like six or seven pieces and they just it fits together so perfectly. Um, but when you're going to be getting your chicken coop, you want something um, that is going to really keep your chickens nice and comfy, especially on cold nights. Um, so these coops, for example, the windows open for during the summer to cool it down, close them during the winter to keep them warm. It has small amounts of vents so that um, they do get airflow. It's really important. You do want your chicken coop to still um, have small vents and not be completely closed. And then the wood's nice and thick, so um, that's going to keep them warm. And that's really important. And so yes, the main point of this video is do not heat your chicken coops with lamps. This is a huge fire hazard. This is very dangerous. And there's a number of reasons why you don't want to be heating your chicken coop like this. 
and we're going to go over those. First thing I wanna clarify is that we are discussing adult chickens in this video. I know someone will make a triggered comment about chicks in the comments. So reasons not to heat a chicken coop with a heat lamp. The majority of fires every year come from heat sources. Many fires start from heat lamps used for animals. Putting a heat lamp in a chicken coop with hay, feathers, and wood shavings is a recipe for disaster. And chicken coop fires are much more common than they should be. A chicken could also get too close to the lamp and burn themselves. Heat lamps are usually a red light and this will keep the chickens up at night. It can affect egg laying and lifespan as well as just making them more stressed. Chickens will be healthier and hardier if they're able to maintain their own heat without an extra heat source. Chickens will have a harder time adjusting to cold temperatures outside of their coop when they have a heat source. The coop may get very hot and outside will be very cold and they can get sick from the drastic temperature change. A heat source will cause for there to be more moisture in the coop and this is actually what leads to frostbite. If the power goes off during the night, the chickens could freeze to death because they were used to the heat. Now next thing we want to talk about is how to keep your chickens warm without heat. And so this is really important. There's a couple of different ways to go about it and so we're going to talk about that next. How to keep your chickens warm without electric heat. The first most important thing to keeping your chickens warm is by providing them with a good chicken coop. There should be air vents to help with air circulation, but no openings that would allow for a draft. Birds are able to stay warm when they can get out of the wind. The walls of the coop should be thick enough for the chicken's body heat to remain inside. The floor should be solid with bedding at the bottom. And the doors should be able to close at night to keep in the heat. Remember that having more chickens in your coop will keep your chickens warmer. When you only have two or three chickens, they won't be able to stay as warm as six or eight chickens cuddling together. Your chickens will also have an easier time keeping warm if they are getting plenty of food. During winter, you should add corn to their food. Corn will help keep their body temperature up and provide more body fat. You can also cook oats and eggs for your chickens. Serving warm oats on a cold day is a great way to help them stay warm and eggs will provide them with a lot of nutrients. A very common way of keeping your chickens warm is by doing what's called deep litter method. So basically this is when you let your chicken coop bedding compost inside of the coop. I know some people say that this is just an excuse to not clean the coop. And I kind of imagine those are the same people that freak out when there's a little dirt in the chicken's water. But no, it's not an excuse to not clean. It's actually kind of genius. This is letting nature help you care for animals. The bedding and the poop will break down and that creates heat. It's a natural heat source for your coop. As the bedding breaks down, you just add more bedding on top of that. You can keep this going for about five months. So you'd clean out the coop early in the fall and then not again until the spring. There can be parasite issues, but there are ways of dealing with that. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but just be sure to look into that if you do wanna use deep litter method. Now, of course, if you do live somewhere up north where you're going to get crazy weather and you bought chickens that are not for your climate, let's go over some of the ways to keep those chickens warm. If you really need extra heat for your chickens, I recommend going with an actual chicken coop heater. Flat panel heaters are the safest option. There's no light to bug the chickens and it's cost effective. Now guys, what did we learn in this video? Do not put a heat lamp on your chickens. This is very dangerous. I know there's a lot of new chicken owners out there uh, because of COVID. A lot of people went into keeping chickens and you might not be familiar with livestock animals and chickens are poultry, they're a livestock animal. Um, some people consider them pets, some people just raise them um, for food purposes, but they don't need heat. And I think with a lot of people who only deal with very domesticated animals like dogs and cats, they don't quite realize how to handle the uh, domesticated animals that are also livestock and definitely not used to living in these heated houses and heated chicken coops. And so yeah, people have been keeping these animals for a long, long time and in places in cold weather, people were keeping these animals and their own houses were not heated. So definitely can't use the argument that, um, you know, it's 
it's a new thing or something. Um, heating the chicken coop only started happening recently. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to share it with your family and friends that are also chicken owners and let's prevent a lot of devastating fires from these awful heat lamps.